The newlyweds are on honeymoon in Namibia and met us here at this porch residence in Eros. The 40-year-old love is still strong. They work hand in hand and each minds the other steps as they had done so since meeting in Namibia and tying the knot in Lusaka, Zambia. Apart from the parents who were overjoyed at this wedding after emphasizing for years that there was no legitimacy back home in their Western wedding, colleagues from Kansas, U.S. celebrated the traditional wedding with them. Dr. Ngondika Matuka explained why they felt the need to tighten the marriage by marrying traditionally. In the Sierra culture, uh, unless you get married in the culture itself, there's this uh, it's a, it's overt or covert assumption that your marriage is not legitimate yet. And uh, so we have to take care of that. That's why we came and did this. It's a celebration with our friends, with our family, and uh, that's what we did this. The couple went through all the traditional rituals at Montin Javera's farm on the 8th of this month. For Luis Hakamatuka, who is the director of Two North Medical Unit in Lawrence Memorial Hospital in Kansas, the wedding was a gift to the ailing parents, a renewal of vows and cementing of the traditional ties. It was, in a way, a hard thing for me because I've never been through it. I've never witnessed the, actually the Herrero wedding myself. But I felt good about it. I felt good that I went through this. Both of us went through this. We really pleased our parents. And I, I, can, I could tell the happiness in both families. Um, and so the hard part was Namibia is very hot. And it's probably not the best time to have a wedding uh, where you are cooped up in the house. But it's one of those things you have to do. It. It is what it is. And you have to go with the flow. The couple says accepting and respecting one's culture is the foundation for tolerance and the developing of cohesive and progressive communities.